and we've said this in the past, the war in Ukraine is not just a military battle. It is also a battle of intelligence, a battle of narratives, a battle that is silently being waged in the shadows. You know, from the media to the diplomats to spying agencies to secret organizations. They are all equally waging this war, trying to change the course of the battle. Case in point, of course, being the North Stream sabotage. A series of clandestine bombings and gas leaks that occurred on North Stream 1 and North Stream 2 pipelines. And till today, there is no consensus on who really was behind this. The Russians, the Ukrainians, the Americans, no one really knows. In the last eight months, there have only been accusations, there has been speculation. Ukraine has accused Russia of causing the leaks. Russia has accused a pro-Ukraine group for it. And some journalists say the American government carried out the sabotage. And Germany has now added a new twist to the tale. Have a look at this report. German investigators are pursuing leads which could implicate Ukraine for the blast and the investigators say they have examined Moscow's naval maneuvers around the site of the blast and they are unconvinced of any Russian sabotage. Not just that, the report further states that German authorities have singled out two other Ukrainians who were on board the yacht which was used for the blast. And one of them apparently served in Ukraine's army. And this was just one example of this dark war. On your screen now is example number two. Russia has accused Ukraine of sending a sabotage group across the border. The Kremlin says the Russian president has been informed about this cross-border incursion, adding that Moscow believed that the attack was designed to quote-unquote divert attention from the situation in Bakhmut. And Russia has also released a video. It claims to show a ground assault on a border check post in Belgorod. Moscow says this attack was carried out by the group that was behind the incursion. And what does Ukraine have to say about this? Has it claimed responsibility for the incursion? Well, not really. Here's what the Ukrainian presidential advisor, Mikhailo Podolik, said in a statement. Let me just quote from it. Ukraine is watching the events in the Belgorod region of Russia with interest and is studying the situation, but has nothing to do with it. So who then was behind the attack is the immediate question. Well, a group called the Free Russia Legion, which says that its ranks are made up of Russians, claim to be behind these attacks in Belgorod. And reports say this group operates under the umbrella of Ukraine's International Legion, a fighting force overseen by the Ukrainian officers. Ukrainian officials are seeking to cast the unit's action as proof of division among the Russians. But it's not clear whether the group had acted on its own volition or under the direction of the Ukrainian officers. And these were just two reports. There are many more, many more instances of secret missions, many more examples of sabotage operations. And they all, by the way, indicate one thing, that this war is no longer restricted to the governments of Russia and Ukraine. It has now expanded to anti-Russia and anti-Ukraine bodies on both sides. As the intel agencies of both the countries fight their own parallel battles. And why would they not? Because these agencies are able to pull off what the armies are unable to do. Ever since the war started, various observers and think tanks have said 
that Russian spies are more effective than the army, that they have achieved a greater degree of success in Ukraine than the Russian military, which has suffered numerous setbacks. And then you have this report. This is from July last year. It talks about how Ukraine was trying to lure Russian pilots by offering them bribes and European citizenship in return for Russian warplanes. Things were going as per plan until a Russian spy in the guise of a pilot's girlfriend spilled the beans. And these stories only reiterate the point I just made. The war in Ukraine is not just a military battle, it is also a battle of intelligence and narratives. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.